Check out those nasty teeth there. I've been bit twice by ribbon fish. It's not fun. Wouldn't recommend it. But check out this one. This is one of the bigger ones that we've caught. I'm going to go ahead and fillet half of it for nigiri. And we'll do chunks for frying up. Whole. We'll go ahead and get to filleting it. I actually learned how to fish for ribbon fish on Pier 2, or 2nd Avenue Pier in Myrtle Beach from the Koreans on there. If you ever visit, you'll find a lot of the Koreans there fishing exclusively for, or specifically for, these ribbon fish. They preferred, they told me, to fry it whole until the bones melt pretty much and you can eat through the crunch. Okay, so that's about half there. Just run our knife down it and continue filleting. But a buddy of mine also said that uh, he ran into some Koreans that prefer to eat it sashimi style. So I'm going to make some nigiri with it and we'll see how that comes out. We'll go and pick up some sushi rice. And it should be really easy to make. It's a nice white meat here. Good meat on the belly. So there's a first filet right there. Pretty white meat. I've tried ribbon fish before. I've had it fried whole and it was all right. Um, pretty bony for me and not enough meat. So I'd rather eat a lot of other fish out there and use this guy as bait to catch those other fish. So that's what I've done with the other one. There were two, I believe that I kept. Um, we did catch more, but I had already used them for bait. But I, I'm gonna save that other one to throw off of a pier with a king rig. And hopefully we can get a uh, nice little king for us, or a big Spanish, or tarpon even. I and mean, there's a lot of fish that like to eat ribbon. And they got a nice shine to them. Good attractant. It's really easy to clean and fillet. It might not look like it is since it's skinny, but trust me, it's a easy one to fillet if you're not that great at fillets. And this fillet is almost off here. There we go. So two fillets there. We'll clean this up and uh, get it ready for some nigiri. And the rest, like I said, will just be chopping it up for frying up whole. And that's their preferred method of eating it. They, uh, from what they've told me, is to chunk it up into like one or two inch pieces, fry them up whole, and add like a nice little sauce or glaze over it. But there's our ribbon fish cleaned up. And these teeth are sharp. Like, uh, just trying to pull it back there, I pierced myself. So be careful. Be extra careful. You'll see when I caught these, I grabbed them real close to the head, and give them a nice banging on the, uh, pier there. Nasty little sucker there. Oh, that's funny. I went a little further on one of the plays. It's no big deal. Oh, and does Lucky Boy want a piece of fish? Yeah, a little piece of ribbon. Give you a piece by the belly. Just scrape the skin. Oh, who wants a little piece? Who wants a little piece? Yeah, it's like the fish jerky stuff. Except it's not been dehydrated. Chunk this now with scissors. We'll trim off these fins. That way we don't poke ourselves while we're eating. And you don't have to trim them; they'll kind of crisp up like chips as well. But I'm not a fan. I'm honestly not a fan, really, of ribbon fish. I mean, the meat's not bad. It's just not a lot of meat, you know. Look at it. Not too much meat there.
I think I'm gonna save this piece of bait. And we'll go ahead and fry these pieces up. And we'll do nigiri with the rest. Let's go ahead and get the skin off. Lucky. Let's go ahead and try a piece ourselves. See what it's like as sashimi. Pretty mild fish. You could definitely eat it raw. Gonna fry in the house Autry seafood batter mix. And add some in our Ziploc bag and we'll toss all of our ribbon fish chunks in there. Like I said, you'll fry it into a crisp and the bones and the insides will pretty much melt or turn into crisps themselves. So I've tried it fried like this. I have not tried it a uh, nigiri or sashimi. The, sh the sashimi was pretty mild, so I'm pretty excited to give it a try as a nigiri or sushi. Go ahead and drop these in. And while that's going, I'm cooking up the sushi rice right here. Getting that all ready. With the sushi rice, we'll let it cool down in the refrigerator and we'll start making our sushi. Cooling down, I'll go ahead and try one of the fried pieces of ribbon fish for you all. So you just bite right through it all, with the bone and everything. You can see why I pretty much use this for bait. I probably didn't fry it long enough to uh, melt the bones, obviously, but... Meat on it is really good. It's a nice white meat. Definitely needed a lot longer in the fryer. Yeah. Way too many bones for my liking. There's a lot of other fish in the sea, like mullet, that are really easy to catch, or whiting. Sorry. Uh, wherever you are, they say it, different things. Uh, a lot of easier fish to catch with a lot more meat on them. So. There's my opinion on that. All right, I've gone ahead and wet my hands. And a little more rice than that for the nigiri. This is my first ever time making sushi. Don't come after me. Okay, there's the first one. I would say it's not looking too bad. Get a little more rice here. I'm sure there's better technique to this. You guys are more than welcome to watch some sushi videos. Yeah, the, uh, the uh, Koreans I met on the pier actually told me they prefer flounder for sashimi and nigiri over the ribbon fish. 
So that is another thing I will be giving a try soon. You gotta let your rice cool down. Mine's not really all that cooled. It's gonna start cooking that fish a little. But I'm a little impatient, haven't eaten all day, and it's already 6 p.m. Usually you would have a bowl of water next to you to dip your uh, hands in after each one. It might not be all uniform, but they're still sushi and they'll still eat well. Go ahead and pour out some soy sauce. Don't have any chopsticks with me, so we'll have to kind of dip this in finger food style. But let's go ahead and give it a try. I mean, it's honestly not that bad. I've had better sushi. I prefer tuna, snapper, salmon, way over this, but it's not terrible. Do you want a piece of nigiri, it, at Balto? First, yeah, at first it, it feels and tastes exactly like sashimi. Yeah, it really right. does. He's gonna eat it. Ramas is in agreement with me. We could eat it, but it's definitely not like your tuna, snapper, salmon, all those nice fatty, buttery fish. And Balto didn't even like it. Look at that. Lucky liked it, but That's this husky boy didn't like it. Little wolf dog, you don't like fish, huh? You don't like fish now? Yeah. Nobody wants any of the sushi because it's not all that great, so the pups will uh, will enjoy it. Oh, yeah. Cali girl want a piece of sushi? Here you go, girl. Oh, yeah. Where's Rado? Does Rado want a piece? That's for Rado. Cali. Callie's like, nah, that's that's for Callie. Yeah, that's for me. Mm. Yeah, Rado's like, yeah, better job. Rado, will you take it? Get it, Rado. That's okay, boy. Get it. Good boy. Oh, will you eat it though? You're a little particular. Get it, boy. Oh, good boy. You like that? Lucky loved it. Maybe we'll keep ribbons and dehydrate them for the pups. Yeah? How does that sound? How does that sound? Good nigiri. Ribbon. There we go, right? There you go. Now you gotta subscribe. <laughs> guys enjoyed this catch and cook here I kind of had an idea of how I would uh, like the ribbon fish I'd rather use it as bait to catch another bigger fish that could potentially help feed us even better than that so catch you guys in the next video peace